I am Kojo Fuku. I play for NYCFC and I'm from Kumasi Bantu. Now Poku. Again with some room, trying to spin around Boswell. Poku! And Poku makes amends. Insurance on the board. And New York City up 3-1. to I'm Lloyd Sam, play for the New York Red Bulls and recently played for Ghana, but grew up in England. McCarty to the foot of Sam, this ball deflects away. Wright Phillips trying to get on it. He does. Wright Phillips with the net at the end, push caught out. Sam with the chip, and it's 2 nothing. Lloyd Sam popped it into the empty net, and the Red Bulls extend the lead. The 10th goal for number 10. I was born in Leeds, England, which is like four hours north of uh, London. I'm connected to Ghana through my parents. They were both uh, born here and grew up here. Once I made my debut around 1920, I stayed at Charlton until the age of 25, played a few premiership games, and then mainly was in the championship. And then after Charlton uh, got relegated, I moved to Leeds. And then after that um, is obviously when I came to Red Bulls. I wanted to leave Ghana because it's every player's dream here to play overseas. Playing overseas gives you the, you know, mass, uh, much upper hand for the national team, for you to be known by the world. It's always been something that I wanted to do. And, um, and a coach came from the States, seeing me playing, you know, right after I was graduating from high school. And uh, he was like really interested in me, how I play. And they say, I want, you to, I want to bring you into the States, uh, you know, to play. I, I just didn't want to be just a soccer player. I wanted to be one of the best soccer players. Um, I actually declared for Ghana maybe when I was about 24 years old. It was a big deal to me. It was a big deal, and what made it better is that my mom and dad were both in Ghana at the time. I got that call from, from it's funny, but I got that call from the media in Ghana saying, are you here? Uh, like, when are you getting in? In Washington, I said, what do you mean, when am I getting in? Triple substitution coming now for Ghana. And number 17 is Lloyd Sam, a domestic player here in the United States who plays for New York Red Bulls. Kozuo Poku, who plays with New York City FC here in Major League Soccer. Poku immediately involved, plays it out wide. Lloyd Saint. It felt amazing getting the call up. It's been always me trying to get to the highest level. Me and Poku, once we got on the field together, we linked up a bit, actually, in the game. There's actually one play I remember where I should have passed the poker and maybe he could have took a shot on goal. But I was trying to wiggle out of a spot and try and, and score myself. I remember I apologised to him after, but um, I felt like the two of us could have got more time. And if we do get more time, we could definitely make a difference. Everyone that's new to the squad has to do a dance. So there was about four new players, I think. And we kind of, <laughs> we didn't really want to get up and dance, but in the end, one gets up and then the rest went, so I did a little dance for that. That was pretty funny. They received me pretty well in camp because I knew a few guys. That was the important thing. I could have got the Obroni shout while I was there, but I didn't end up getting it. I was really surprised I didn't end up getting that shout. Obroni means a uh, foreigner or like kind of like an outsider, kind of. They've called me that before in Ghana when I've come on like vacation and stuff. Do you still feel like an abroni sometimes? Only when they're speaking the language. Otherwise, now, like, after the call-up, I feel very much a Ghanaian at the moment. I remember Lloyd Sam from the first uh, New York Red Bull against the uh, NYCFC game. And after the game, he walked to me and said, how are you in our language? And I was surprised because I didn't know he was a Ghanaian. And the way he sounded, I was like, did he just learn this word or he have some African 
you know, a Ghanaian friend that told him that or something. Before the call up, uh, Poco and I didn't really have a relationship. I knew of him. I thought he was a pretty good player. And I knew he was from Ghana, but we had just never really had an opportunity to talk, being rivals and all that. When would we really talk? Oh, we're going to go to one of my restaurants now, Garden City Restaurant, one of my favorite places to go to get Ghanaian food. Oh, OK. I've never been here. And we're eating with our hands, no knives and forks. Really. All right, all right. Uh, all right, cool. It was only after um, I got called up to the squad that I started eating here. Really? I was never doing all this. I feel so much more like Ghanaian now than I ever did. I just remembered that we're rivals. I just remembered that. <laughs> we ain't rivals till we step on the field. Yeah. Like right now, yeah. the last thing we represented was the same team. So the same team. That's the only way I know him as right now. <laughs> when he puts on, what is it, 88? And he's wearing, is he wearing 88, right? 88, yeah. And he's wearing light blue. Yeah. Yeah. Then he's the enemy for 90 minutes. <laughs> Wait, when was the last time you saw the family? Five years now. Five years? You ain't seen them in five years? Five years. And they, they never come over? No. I haven't even told them when I'm coming. I just told oh, them when they I'm don't coming. know? No, they don't know what date. All they know is I'm coming. Just going to surprise them and boom, I'll be back. I think it's time we pay the folks a visit then. A lot of people don't know me. If a lot of people know I'm here right now, they would have been crazy right now. That's uh, that's my little brother. I guess we gotta we gotta get inside to see my mom. That's my mom. <laughs> yep. I see a DC. Now, who me? Me call you. Oh, call you five years. Five years. I see my sister say, like, this is sister say. Hmm. What's this all about? Like it's been a lot of changes. I see me fully say. Who me? Me who now me ni a diabro so. Then she don't know what to say. Kelika. This is where my parents live now. Uh, you know, my brothers. Mm -hmm. This is the little one. No, no, what do you say? Eight, right? Nine. Nine? Eight. Nine. 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 He's nine years. And that is Henry. When I was living, I can remember he was, you know, kind of like him. And now he's just, he's just big. The next book, maybe. <laughs> I miss, you know, getting outside scene friends a lot, mostly my parents. Getting food and eating somewhere is not the same as mom making you that food, you know, and we have a game. Where's where is, where is Poku? Yeah, where is Poku? And they'll be like, oh, he's, uh, you know, he's helping his mom something. Don't, don't, don't even bother. When he get time, he will come. I, if you say, oh, no, basa, basa. I know, or daddy. And she saw Brandon wants a more penny moo, a polo bia, and Utinema and Penny Funina, and so on, and they are all money at general. Say no, and your Basavasa cry. Every time I talk to my mom and my brothers and my dad, they always give me greetings from other people. People are ready to see me. I knew it was going to be a little bit crazy, you know, like seeing these guys, but. I believe that then they've seen something in me that I don't even know. 
but I think I did I did good, but I know I got more to offer. Although it was a little bit crazy, I didn't care about that. I'm happy to see them. I'm happy that they are alive, and I'm happy I'm back seeing them again. You know. Champion. Number one fans. The whole Kumasi. Number one fans. Kode Poku. He said he's my number one fan, and like every time talking about me, and people even make fun of him about that. Big fan. <laughs> that, that stuff doesn't do much for me. I, I, I never like being noticed too much, if I'm being honest. I don't like being the center of attention in that way. But um, next time I come back, hopefully it's to play for the national team again and not a vacation. Good memories. There's some players in this team. He was at Marseille. There were some good players in that team a long time ago. My mum and dad both born and grew up in Ghana. Growing up, it never seemed too far away. I was back in Ghana, I think, five years ago, similar to Poku too. So ever since I've been in the MLS, it's been difficult to get out here. How was Lloyd as a child? Oh, very, very quiet, very cool. Right from his child, we could see that he had a very strict sense of justice in terms of making sure that the right things are done. As parents, we never really had to worry about them in any way. I think at an early age, I could see the potential. Now Aubrey, head of the attack again. Thierry lays it off. Lloyd Sam with a shot, he scores! Aubrey, the master, sets up Lloyd Sam for a three to one lead. When Thierry Henry and um, Tim Cahill left, at Christmas last year, I said, hey, you've got to be the main man. Ghanaians need to see him. Ghanaians need to see the amount of the difference he can make in the team. I realized also when they played the game when Kutupuku came on. When he got the ball, he was also looking for Lloyd to give the ball to him. I hope that they get the opportunity to play together again because I think that they, they, they can complement each other a lot. It will make my parents prouder, which is really cool. Everyone was watching the game, they all know. So it's, it's really nice to put a smile on people's faces and let them say, oh, that's my cousin, you know what I mean? Uh, it will mean a lot to me to play in Ghana in front of my parents and family and the Ghanaian people. This, this field is bad. It's just kind of similar to this field, you know? Yeah, well, when he's growing up. Yep. It looks like they had, they're they working on the field or something. It looks it's like just, a minefield. Yeah. This one. Yeah, but it's hey, man. it's just kind of this. You, know. you got to learn your craft somewhere, right? Yeah. It just reminds me of, you know, those days. Uh, getting up from school like this, you don't go home, you already have your, you know, your undershirt and you, you're wearing your boxers with another pants. So as soon as you take, you take your uniforms off, you're good. You don't want to get your shoes dirty because your mom will you know, whip you when you get home and your shoes is that dirty. You don't want it to be dirty, so you just take it off and go with your bare foot. As a kid, you don't care. You have your goals, you have your ball. It doesn't matter where. You'll be good to go. All right, let's have a look around town, experience some real Ghana. We just find a market here and we're trying to see what they have here. So, Lloyd, let's check it out. All uh, right, let's check it out. I'm trying to get one of those bracelets, one of those Ghana bracelets from somewhere. A lot of options here. Oh, you need something like this. That's all right. What about that? How much you sell that one for? How much you give me? Don't yeah. give me your brony price. No, no, no. Give me yeah, the other yeah, one. Yeah, the products. How huh? much do I want to give you? How much do I want to give you? Yeah. You add one more. One more? One more CD? One, one like this. One more like that? Yeah. Let me get the five back. All right, there you go. And you got the black stars on. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. That's a cane, that one. This one. Oh, wait, there's a sword in there. I didn't yeah, know there was a sword in there. Yeah, wait, so in here, there's a sword there. Yeah, so pull it, oh, pull it, pull it. Hey, careful, careful, careful. No, 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 don't worry. Here, go. Look, here's home. Oh, wow. You see that? So that one is two things, a cane yeah, and a yeah, weapon. You use it as a stick, walking stick. When the arm robbers come, right? You just finish with them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, the coconut. This is our first instrument in Ghana here. Kushka. 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 Kushka.
That's why we'll be drinking all the beer. In heaven, there is no champagne. That's why we'll be drinking all the champagne. Always in Africa, beautiful people, beautiful spaces. There is sunshine in Africa, Africa, beautiful people in Africa. Everybody is sunshine in Africa. Let's go to Africa. Hey, 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 hey. We are the Ghana Independence Square, and it's the second largest square in the world behind the Tiananmen Square in China. Yeah, what actually happens here, though? On the 6th of March, uh, we all gather here for our Independence Day. So that's why we have our Independence uh, you know, Day over there, that is 1957, with our freedom and justice that is on our, you know, on our coat of arms and the Black Stars of Ghana. You know, that's the star that everybody knows. The Queen always comes to Ghana for the Independence Day. So it's, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. The Queen? Yeah. Of England. of England. She comes over. Yeah, because we you know in, uh, British was our, you know, we uh, yeah colonizers. So no goods to get run over. No fear. Let me get some sweet plantations. Right. Straight off the roadside, they're not bad. Yeah. We're on our way to go see Right to Dream Academy, which should be pretty cool. I heard they got great facilities there. We're going to see a lot of talent here, uh, you know, a lot of good players. It's your dream that you want to do. It comes down to you. How are you going to manage yourself? They're not going to manage you till you die. At the point in time, you're going to do your own thing. Yeah. You know, so that's it's a, really that's up a to good you. Answer. Yeah, yeah, it actually does come down to the person. Yeah. I don't really stress about too many things when it comes to games now. Like, you, I used to have a routine before games. I have to do this and I have to do that. I have to drink this much water. And, and you know what, now I just go to the field just trying to enjoy the game. They beat us three times in a row. And I was mad, I was, you know, upset, but he got the job done, so I couldn't complain you a lot. You got to explain to him about yeah, the New York rally. Know. So there's two New York teams. We're the red side, that's the blue side. Despite yeah. whoever won, yeah. like it was an amazing experience, the three games that we played. Yeah. We happened to win three games. So next year, it's gonna be a great rivalry again. So speaking of red and blue, right now we're gonna divide you guys into two teams. One's gonna represent Red Bulls and one's gonna represent NYC. And then we're gonna have a little game, see what happens. Yeah. You guys are already in blue, so you guys <laughs> should make a good decision about it, you know? Uh, Thank you, coach. New York is red. Just remember that. Yeah. All right, coach. Yeah. Nice wind is getting for me. Yeah. Please. <laughs> That's good stuff. Great save. Great save. All right, let's defend properly. About to lose this game in the first minute. All right, Jose Mourinho. Pokey, that was offside, the last goal. They, they don't play no offside. Ernest, wait, I can make changes. What position are you guys? We need two guys in the middle. Come on, man, we're losing 1-0. Let's, let's get this back. I don't want to lose to this guy. I know how it feels to win against Poku, so it will be a new feeling. I like it. Okay, sub, sub. Guys, we're forcing it. Take it easy. You're not even on. Yes, well done, well done. Isaac, Isaac. Guys! <laughs> hey, well done, red team. Guys, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Good stuff. Hey, good you stuff. guys were good first good half, stuff. but second half, I made a couple yeah. changes. Yeah. And we came that back. worked. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> that worked. Red balls again. Red balls again. And the crowd go wild. A national team game, it's that like that, that is it. That's that, it doesn't get any better than that. It means a lot. 
to play in Ghana too. That would be nice with my family here. That would be a big moment in my career. There's certain players that when you, have, when you have the rivalry, you end up disliking. That would have been interesting if he was one of those guys, but he was never a guy that our team would dislike. And he's a pretty great guy anyway, you know what I mean? So there was no animosity. In Ghana, there's a popular handshake that they do that everyone from Ghana knows. I'm going to demonstrate it right now. So you shake the hand, after you shook the hand, and you're going to release. You snap right at the end. I'll show it again. All right. So here we go. The shake. Your hands are a bit damp. Are my hands damp? <laughs> oh, uh, it's my hands damp now. Now I'm sweating because I'm on camera. Oh, All right. That's me. That's me. Everyone's going to do it. All right, Dad. I'm moving too quick. Yeah, so. you're moving too quick. All right, cool. So That's a good one. That's a good one. Always for it. That's a good one. They are really nice people. We don't discriminate about the culture, about the language, about who you are. And they like to accept visitors. And it's not because I'm here, but I feel like it's, it's one of the greatest, you know, places that you can live. It was nice to come back. It's, uh, I was saying to my brother yesterday that I could imagine living in Ghana, and I never really imagined that before. Um, and that's probably one of the main things this trip has done.